The beauty of the £25,000 October Book One bonus is it became very readily apparent to us early on that this was a very effective incentive for purchasers. There were 42 Book One bonus winners in the first year of the scheme last year. And as we led up to Book One of the October Yearling Sale last year, not only were we getting feedback from recipients of the £25,000 bonuses, we were contacted on at least one occasion by a lucky winner to say, I don't want to be paid this bonus. I want you to keep it on account because I will be back to book one to spend this money on another yearling. And I don't think it gets more compelling than that. So when you're winning 35 to 45,000 pounds for winning a maiden race, that's comparable if not better than anywhere else in the world. And this definitely struck a chord with the owners. I think probably the most pleasing thing about the bonus winners in 2017 and overall in the one and a half years that the scheme's been going has been the profile of the winners and nearly 75% of the winners to date this year have cost 100,000 guineas or less and again that is the profile of horse, the profile of owner that this scheme sets out to reward to get those people to come to book one of the October yearling sale. It is the premier yearling sale in Europe and to make owners perhaps who, who aren't always aiming at the top level of the market to focus on book one, not only because of the quality, but because they know they can be rewarded like no other yearling sale in the world. And that is the key message. And I think owners really have hoisted this on board and the trainers and the bloodstock agents. It's huge, you know, he's not got a free horse yet, but he's gone a good way to paying for the horse and paying for the training fees. And it's a good incentive now, you know, if you can just drop on the right horse, you know. The owner sort of sent us the sale with an order to try and buy and win a book one bonus, which luckily <laughs> we have done. It's made us look since it's 25 grand bonus, and it gives us a reason to come to the sale, and I'm sure as vendors they put horses in for us, you know. We won first time out at Ascot, and she looked good. It's very exciting for the owner. Obviously, when she won, we knew we were aiming to win £25,000 for a book one bonus, so it was great. Well, I think you can encourage owners with a budget between fifty and and a hundred thousand to to certainly uh, give it a shot. Absolutely, any incentive is fantastic for an owner. Basically, she managed to hopefully cover her trading fees in in one hit by winning one race. I think it's a wonderful idea. Fantastic. If one's to pick on any individual bonus winners so far this year, I think Mark Johnson's filly Nyaletti sums it up. She's owned by a partnership of owners. She costs 40,000 guineas at book one. She's got a great pedigree. She's by art. She's from a good family. She won nearly 40,000 pounds winning her maiden because of the bonus. But since then has gone on to be a wide margin winner of the Group 3 Princess Margaret at Ascot. One owner who will be very, very thankful of the book one bonus is the owner of Nyaletti, who came up to the yard in November of last year to look at a few yearlings and was sort of stuck between two and the big selling point for him on her was that she qualified for the book one bonus. It's an initiative that we've really taken on board in the last two years and it's something that we go there thinking about to the book one sale and you know, in the last two years we've had three horses purchased for less than 40,000 who have effectively won their cost on their first maiden win. On every level the owners have been rewarded for coming to book one and that's absolutely magnificent. At the other end of the scale you get a high profile yearling, the Galileo Colt out of Gooseberry Fool, very very impressive maiden for the Ballydoyle team the other day. He's third favourite for the Derby next year. Again, this scheme rewards everybody at all levels of the market but crucially it rewards the people spending naught to 100,000 guineas and that's the key to it.